Okay, some that'll happen garden news today. So, not entirely positive, although most of the garden is still fine. Um, this is a case of mistaken identity. So Stan had told me that these first two rows, remember he started these peppers from seed for the most part, these first two rows were sweet peppers. And most of my little yumly have died, but I did have this one plant of red yumly. Thank you. If you were watching the episode from a couple of days ago, uh, and I ate a couple of them. Yeah, there's one on there. So Stan picked a couple of little peppers and brought them in, little red peppers today. And uh, I assume they were from that plant. Well, they weren't. They were from the plant right next door, which is a jalapeno. And for some reason, possibly because it was a little tiny thing, only redder than this, it was a super hot jalapeno. I just bit the whole thing off, put it in my mouth. My mouth is still on fire. I ate a little piece of fudge, a green banana, a spoonful of peanut butter, and a piece of cheese, all to try to get the heat out of my mouth. It's, the fire has gone down a bit. So anyway, uh, right next to the sweet pepper, we have a hot pepper. Now I don't trust anything in here. Don't trust it at all. Sure, he says they're sweet peppers. Hmm, that means maybe there's some sweet peppers lurking in the hot pepper row. I don't know. This is why you should make tags for your plants in the garden. Okay, on to the next problem. All right, those are my blueberry bushes. They're going to be hard to pick. But I looked out my window last night at my computer, and I saw the leaves rustling. And then I saw a thieving robin. Last year, the thieving robin got on our cherry trees. Actually, they do that every year. We have no cherries this year. So the robin was in my blueberries. That ticked me off pretty good. I came out, put the net on it last night, and uh, hopefully that'll take care of the robin. Probably won't take care of the Japanese beetles, which is problem number three. Stan found them on the, let's see. Stan found Japanese beetles. You see it there? You touch them, they fall down. Yep, there it goes. I should have killed it. We won't tell Stan about that. Uh, Saw them yesterday, a few on the grapes, but mostly here on the elderberries. Usually the first way you notice is that the leaves are really lacy. Well, he picks them off. He gets a little uh, little container of soapy, soapy water, like dish water, and puts it underneath, and they drop in there, and he spends a lot of time a day. Oh, there's another one. That's not, but there's one up there. He spends quite a bit of time, three times a day, coming out, picking off Japanese beetles. So that season has begun right on time. It's July the 1st. And now another problem. Okay, Stan told me today that my using diatomaceous earth on the broccoli ruined the broccoli, that it was like dissolving the broccoli. Well, I took a closer look and there were the diatomaceous earth actually didn't do what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to keep the broccoli worms away. It did not Every single broccoli is full of broccoli worms. I sprayed them with permethrin to kill them, and now we won't be able to eat them either. Uh, normally, we don't have problems until until we have the new shoots coming up. Usually, the first broccoli is fine, and usually diatomaceous earth works. So all this broccoli, not fit to eat. And you know what? <laughs> That's enough bad news for today. Until next time, with hopefully some... Happier news. This is Lori Feechter with My Indiana Garden. Maybe some iced tea would help. Let's try that.